The cavitation does play a fact on the price of the product. Uh, the cavitation goes up, the tool price goes up, but the piece price goes down. However, if you don't have any volume, uh, there's no real reason to build extra cavities because then you have a more difficult process to control. We're gonna look at the volume, we're gonna look at how difficult the part is, and from that, that's what's gonna determine what cavitation we're gonna make for production. A two cavity, a four cavity, or even a 16 cavity, whatever fits customer's needs. Uh, it makes a lot more sense to have a one or two cavity mold so that uh, you can have an efficient process and not have a lot of money tied up in tooling until you need the product at that level. When the level of volume goes higher, then you have enough revenue stream and you have enough product flowing that can justify a higher cavitation tool down the road. The size of the part that the customer wants will dictate how big a molding machine it requires to make the part. Lower cavitation tools run smaller tonnage machines, higher cavitation runs higher tonnage machines. So those things play into the cost for the product and what kind of equipment it takes to manufacture your product. In our medical clean room, we go as low as 35 tons and we go up to 110 tons. A 35 ton machine makes little fittings and uh, small components this big, up to maybe four cavities maybe eight cavities if it's a small enough feature. The other machine will make parts the size of your hand or this size in a single cavity tool. If you're looking for a new medical molder, you should be looking for somebody that's got the horsepower and the facilities that can make the products that you're looking for. 